Hey Air Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your daily love reading for December 21st, 2018. Um, I'm going to be doing it a little bit different. I will timestamp um, in the comment box. Uh, I'm going to do Air Signs all together, but you're going to each have your own section. So I'm going to start with Gemini first. The Spirit Guides and Angels, what message do you have for Gemini? And Moon Rising and Venus for December 21st. Gemini, 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 Gemini. What did Gemini have in love for December 21st? Okay, these seven of swords. So, um, some negative thoughts going through your head. Could be trying to get away with something. We'll see what other cards come out here for you guys. Bottom of the deck, however, is the Ace of Pentacles. So, you're getting an offer. Could be from a Virgo with the Merlin here. You are getting an offer. Um, let's see. Okay, Gemini. Okay. Well, you have two sevens here, which is um, very spiritual, but you are, uh, could be self-sabotaging your own happiness um, because you're very confused. You're confused at which uh, path is right for you. You're confused on who's telling you the truth. Um, yeah, because you are moving in the direction of your soulmate. You are moving in the direction that you are meant to be going in. With the Eight of Shields, you're working very hard at manifesting um, manifesting a new beginning for you or someone you are connected to. You do have the Four of Cups as well. So the universe is trying to show you this blessing within the lesson. Um, but you need to go within to see what exactly that lesson is, what exactly that blessing is. You will, um, you will come out of this state of confusion, this state of silencing your thoughts. Yeah. And you're going to emerge with a great idea. You're going to emerge with um, some new passion in life, a new beginning. That's the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom and the Ace of Wands as your outcome card for the day. So this is a good spot for you to be in. Just don't allow your thoughts to get the best of you because you're not seeing exactly what the universe is trying to offer you. Continue to work hard on yourself while in this state of silence in the state of um, pulling your energy back and you will um, you will be awakened to who it is that you're meant to offer your love to as you see the rose in one of those cups you're going to know who it is because um, the confusion is going to be taken away here very soon and it's going to hit you like quickly you're not even going to see it coming um, and it's just going to kind of be an aha moment and you're going to be able to offer somebody something new, something fresh, something um, that's going to be very successful. So very good day for Geminis. Let's go to Libras. Um, Geminis, you could be withdrawn right now. You could be um, working on yourself, trying to get yourself healthy. I keep hearing for some of you. Um, oh, wow. Libra, what's going on here? Nice. Okay. So, you guys have a situation where, um, wow. You guys got two aces as well for your outcome. Beautiful. Ace of cups, ace of swords. Allowing things that no longer serve you to fall away. You are um, going through a sp spiritual transformation. Um, you could be single right now, just working on yourself, working on... Um, making yourself better, making yourself, um, could, some of you could be going back to school, but you're really becoming more spiritually independent. You're becoming more, um, financially independent, but you have the choice between two lovers. It is a fire sign or a earth sign, male or female. Um, but you keep thinking of your children. This, you have children or the person that you are considering leaving has children. Um, or considering being with, because there are two children here. Yeah. 
but you are um, needing to pick who it is that you want to commit to because you do also have the Four of Wands here as well. Um, the King of Pentacles here, um, one of the people that are your choices is very needy, very um, like you have to be there when they need you because otherwise it's the end of the world. And um, the King of Wands, I just love these cards. It's very sexual, very passionate. You almost feel like, am I just here for sex or is this real? And the King of Pentacles is like, am I here for love or do you just need me to take care of you? So you're really conflicted right now on who it is that you want to build a foundation with. But you will be um, finding commitment and uh, the divine is going to open your eyes to what this, uh, which direction you should go in, Libras. Very, very positive energy for you guys. Because there is love with both those kings there. Um, and like I said, it can be king or queen. But um, there is love between both of them. They just show it in a different way. But whoever you decide to pick, Libra, is going to be your four of wands. Very beautiful energy. All right, Aquarius. What does Aquarius have going on for the 21st of December? All right, the six of shields, finding balance in your life, not allowing the needs of everybody else to come before yours. Um, you see the arms up there reaching and that person's just standing on the mountain, um, handing everything out. But you see there's six or three on each side. Balance. This, this person is finally balancing out between definitely a third party. You got three of wands on the bottom too. Um, this person is finding balance within their life so that they know who, what, and where to invest their time in. Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius. Seven of Swords. Let me get the rest of your cards out here. Ooh. You guys have some tough energy going on here. Okay, so you are finding balance in your life. But it's only after you release a, a third party or no longer keep cheating yourself out of happiness. You're holding on to one because you feel they need you financially. Um, and you're holding on to the other one because you love them. You don't want them to leave. Um, it's time to quit cheating your happiness and to choose who it is that you want to invest your time in. Um, you could be fearing financial loss if you leave the person that you are the, only there for finances but it's time to lay this burden down it's time to allow these cycles to end because you have the ten of swords and the ten of wands this is weighing you down this is making you tired this is making you feel um a way that you don't like you feel like you you know you're hurting them and you don't want to continue to do this to anyone so you are going to move in very quickly and speak the truth to these people. And when you do, it's going to bring you balance. It's going to restore your footing in the world. It's going to allow you to release whatever it is that is not meant for you. It's able to release the burden and the stress of trying to keep these two people happy. And in the meantime, you are the one that is suffering and not happy. And it's only hurting them in the long run. You are manifesting right now. You are manifesting a future with one of these people. As, as long as you allow yourself to let cycles end and find balance in your life, you are going to manifest the relationship that you um, are wanting, the energy that you want. All right, let's get one card for Zodiac, please. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in that order. Thank you. Okay. Gemini, you guys have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Amazing. That's your new beginning coming. Allow the passion. Allow yourself to feel the passion. Libra, you guys enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. Honeymoon. That's just getting away with your partner. Getting that new beginning. Taking off and getting away from the world. And Aquarius. I had a feeling this would come out. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your love life. And this is, I do feel, codependency on one of your partners. So it's time to release that one, to break free from that energy, and to enjoy your time with one person who you're meant to be with. So, all right, Air Signs, I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful Friday, and I will see you next time. God bless.